100,000 subscribers. I honestly don't even know how to start this. Thank you. Just thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting me all this time. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting me for hours, days, weeks, months, or even years. <laughs> YouTube is and has always been my passion for life since I was really little, pretty much just around 10 years. And for everybody who wants to know more about me, I'm Phil and I'm currently 19 years old and I'm from Berlin. Yeah, that's where my weird ass accent comes from, I know. I started doing YouTube around 2011 because of my love for Nintendo games, especially Market Wii. I started doing Let's Plays with my primary school friend Nico back then, and he still stuck to me until this day. We just had so much fun that we just meet up every few days back then to record, upload and edit as well. In 2014, I realized that it wasn't only my love for games which started to grow, but also my love for editing videos. I started doing random videos including commentaries, opinion sharing, 3D intro designing for years and years. So then in July 2016, my friend Nick introduced me to the game Dead by Daylight, and after some months of playing it, I started to actually love the game, but not only that, I actually had more fun than ever doing videos about a specific game. All of that started around 2017 when I created Tithy. I met amazing people in this game. I started watching people, I grew as a content creator, but just more importantly, I just grew up as a person. I just did so many fun moments for a Dead by Daylight and because of that I just met so many amazing people which started to recognize me and that was honestly insane for me. So then in the middle of 2019, I had around 30,000 subscribers I think and I practically just had a massive, massive personal burnout. I was getting into massive fights with a person I loved and personal stuff of mine got leaked and I just felt like really really bad. I just felt like people on YouTube just watched me for my editing and not actually for me and my self-confidence was just like breaking apart even more than ever before and it was not even really big before. So then I took a long time and I started to figure out how to have more fun again and hands down that was honestly YouTube. But just the thought of bringing myself into my videos started more and more and I want to start doing something else, probably just gameplays about that by that, something where I can just like talk to people and not just do like sound effects and all of that. Like let's just, just me talking. I just want to thank a specific person for it, this huge stab, which was Aaron, aka Aaron on YouTube. Due to Aaron, I got the motivation to actually start my gameplays, even though my English was not even really good at this time, because like I had like a woolly woolly big ass and like way worse than now. Then because of Aaron, I met more and more people, which supported me so much, and just overall were like really good friends for me. But my surprise, people actually started to like my gameplays, and not only that, they even got more love than my Funny Moments series. Like that was just like such a big motivation boost for me, since I loved doing my gameplays. Like I loved them so much. It was just so fun to record them and edit them. It was something that I've never really done like that in Death by Daylight before. I was actually able to grow as a person because of that, and I get more self-confidence than ever in my life, honestly. Thank you so much for every single person which decided to support me, to my real life friends, which were always there for me. Like for example, Nick and Nico. Shout out to you, big shout out to you too. And also my online friends as well. So with this video, I want to announce that I will start getting more of myself into this channel, not only DVD. With that, I mean that besides from my normal DVD content, I will also start doing actually real life stuff, other games and whatever I just want to do. Especially, I'm also going to start streaming with Facecam on my Twitch channel, which you can check out if you want to. And I will just do a variety stream star as well. And I don't know, just do whatever I want there. And well, <laughs> with that stab, with the, all of that personal stuff, um, yeah, I'm now gonna reveal my face, the first time ever on YouTube. Hello! So, this is not a really one-time thing, I'm not gonna do this only one time. And, uh, yeah, anyways, this is my face reveal, and I hope you can like it, even though my hair does look kind of messed up, I'm really sorry for that. But, um, uh, yeah, can I somehow fix that? No, I probably can't anymore, yeah, I'm really sorry. We're gonna do a small Q&A right now, and I got some questions ready from you guys on YouTube and Twitter and the first question is from Red Mars. What would be your ultimate dream come true moment? That is most likely just something simple. It seems kind of simple, but for me it's something like really special. It's mostly just like that I can actually do YouTube full time and Twitch full time as well. And then just live with all of this because like this is just my this is just my passion and I I don't really want to do anything else in my life than this. Just being able to like afford like living and all of that. I don't really even want to live like really special. I just want to like afford 
living from this and being able to like not starve in my room <laughs> you know and that's that's all just about it i just don't really have like any like special things so we're gonna get to the next question is from Dwag Dr Dr dragon from twitter has the fame affected in any way positive or negative by the way i love watching your videos they're amazing thank you first of all and uh, well i would actually say that it has affected me i would actually say that i changed in a positive way because like back then i didn't really have like a really high self-confidence and yeah it's 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 definitely better now i'm not where i want to be it be but i'm just really proud that i'm not where i used to be i'm just really proud that i just like myself more than i used to yeah i don't know i just i just improved a bit as a person and i i'm just more honest to people and just know how to like socialize more and yeah and i don't know just being able to like have like community which just actually supports me it just <laughs> means a lot so um yeah we're gonna get into the next question already which is from Ezio, my great mod, do you miss your pause? I mean old content or people you used to play with? When it comes to some things, I do miss some things. Like for example, um, Market Week Competitive, that was like actually such a great time. I do kind of miss interest as well. That's something I really liked as well. Well like in general, I would actually say that I don't really miss a lot. Because I was friends with a lot of people I get into fights with and I don't really want to associate with anymore. I'm not gonna name anything. I just want to <laughs> yeah, say that. I don't I don't really think so mostly. When it comes to like friends I used to talk with, like most of the time it does have a reason why you don't really talk to people anymore, if you like. We're gonna get into the next one from WOM. What was the first game you played? That is actually like a like a pretty interesting more or less question, but for me it's pretty cool. Um it was actually Pokemon Red. Yeah, I got that from my cousin. Shout out to you, Jakob. Back then, like, Nintendo DS was already a thing, but the Game Boy Color was, like, the first thing I ever got, because, like, I got that from my cousin. I, I kind of grew up with playing Game Boy Color instead of Nintendo DS compared to, like, the other kids in my school. So, we're gonna get into the last question for now as well. Yeah, that's all of the questions I get for now. Um, from <laughs> Eternal Exhaustion, which is more fun for you to do, Twitch or YouTube? Well, like, I can't really compare stuff like that, because, like, Twitch and YouTube are just such a different thing, I feel like. But, in general, I would, of course, say it's YouTube, because, like, I kind of grew up doing YouTube. Like, I started doing YouTube in, like, around 2011, and I started doing Twitch around 2016, something like that. I like both, like it's it's still it's pretty fun, like both of it. But I would still say that I prefer doing videos than just live streaming. So uh yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I hope you liked that small face reveal part. I hope I didn't talk too much, but uh yeah. Peace out and thank you so much for one AK again. And of course, <laughs> I'm not gonna forget about it. We're gonna do the hat shave. I'm gonna shave my hair right now. Look at that. Yeah, that is that is pretty, pretty long. <laughs> We're gonna see us and <laughs> thank you. I'm currently trying to reach 100k on YouTube and I'm also gonna shave my hat for that. So if you wanna see that happening, it would actually mean the world to me if it would support me. Thank you so much. So back So, hello, I'm back and, well, I'm officially, um, yeah, stupid. I shaved my hair for 1RK, but, well, honestly, it was worth it. It was really worth it. My hair actually does feel kind of well and, well, I, I actually do like it, so I don't I don't really regret it, honestly. And, well, thank you so much once again for 1RK, it honestly means a lot. And, seriously, I can't wait to, like, 
expand my channel into more and actually just do more in this channel. And well, I hope you're also kind of excited for it. And I'm gonna stream as well a lot more than I used to with face game as well. I'm gonna stream just games I like besides some DVD as well. I'm gonna continue doing DVD. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm even like <laughs> I'm even wearing my my favorite jacket for this video. I'm usually wearing this jacket at like Fridays. Because, like, I just really like it, but right now I'm just wearing it just for you guys. <laughs> and, well, just <laughs> thank you so much for uh, every single person which decided to support me in real life through all of these years on the internet, all of my online friends, and especially thank you to all of my really big inspirations for YouTube. Not only DVD-wise, but only, like, YouTube-wise in general. You've always, like, made me so happy and, like, actually turned me into the person I am, kind of, and always the fact of my content in like some ways, so I will always appreciate you guys. Anyways, that has been it for the 1UK special, so anyways, much love to you guys, and that has been it for the video, stay awesome! It's Subway Tithi.